Welcome to another episode of Prime TV. In this one, we will create a landing page with Angular Prime Engine Prime Block. So, what are Prime Blocks exactly? It is actually a Prime Block is actually a code ch chunk of code that can be copied and pasted anywhere. So, it doesn't contain uh, a custom CSS or custom JavaScript somewhere, but it's also not a component, just a section of code that can be moved around. Um, it's powered by PrimeFlex, so PrimeFlex is a CSS utility library uh, of PrimeNG, and thanks to the PrimeFlex, we are able to create Prime Blocks. When you download Prime Blocks, you will get an Angular Server application. And let's see, this is Prime Blocks. All the blocks are available here, and if you run npm install and ng serve, you will run the live showcase in your local environment. So let's check out what we have for, for maybe, the, let's say, uh, breadcrumbs. You will see all the code here. And you can just copy and paste them. These also involve you know, vertical navigation, now bars. We have more than close to 300 blocks right now. So today topic is the landing page. In the next one, we will create a dashboard using you know, sidebar layouts, templates, and uh, other content. So I've created a sample page called ng-blocks. And ng-blocks is a regular Angular CLI application. I have installed Prime ng, Prime Flex, and Prime icons, and just added them to my style section. These are regular you know, HTML body application styles and this is you know the prime engine core the theme you like prime flex and prime icon and that's it so if you run this application you will see nothing because the app component is empty so let's build a now bar to begin with we have to add now bar from the marketing section somewhere here no. and if you check out the code just that we will just copy and paste it no components uh, no CSS overrides no templating everything is under your control all the markup all the styling okay I will get I, I get an error and there it says that style class is not defined. So style class is the magical directive that gives you this interactivity. Remember that there's no custom JavaScript, so that to open things and close things with animations, we have um, the style class directive. Style class basically uh, is uh, adds an event to its target like this anchor, and it says my the, the, the div or the, the element that I will control when this anchor is clicked is next. You can also use any custom CSS selector. And it will just add animations like interactive, enter hidden, and plus you'll get this nice hide and offset code. So that you know, the offset is clicked, it gets hidden. Okay, to do that, oh, we also have a button here. So I will just, um, let's say, style class module from prime ng style class plus we would need ripple module as well because the buttons have ripples and finally uh, the button let's add these guys It's working. The next thing is to choose a hero section. I have here a couple of alternatives. Let's choose, if you check out the code, simple, grab this, paste it, looking good. 
Now maybe move on to um, some logo cloud where we can display the companies who are using our stuff or maybe some testimonials. Uh, let's go on with the, the logo cloud somewhere here. And now maybe feature, since we are, you know, presenting our company, we can go on with features. I mean, I quite like the one with illustrations, followed by this one. Okay. And let's move on to a uh, uh, call to action so that people like our stuff. Uh, let's tell them to do something. Okay. And pricing maybe, if, if it is not you know, free. Okay, and let's wrap it up with a um, filter. We are based in Amsterdam. Okay, now that's it basically. Now we can, we can you know, toggle them, see. It's just a couple of lines of logs and we are done. And it is actually responsive. And you can easily swap one block with another one. Let's go, go to the call to action and choose this one. And for example, you can, uh, let's say, Anglo Racks and with the with the uh, Prime Flex, you can easily you know if you get an understanding of Prime Flex, which is just a couple of CSS classes with you know flexing, margins, borders, spacing, everything. Um, you can easily customize this. For example, it says um, the there's a margin top, and we can just increase it to six. In, in, sorry, get started section, maybe margin, no, you can just increase it, change the colors and things like that. For example, let's change this to, to purple and you can easily customize the look and feel as well. And um, so this one is for landing. In the next tutorial, we will create um, an application with the, with the application blocks. Here are some examples. All of these are copy and paste. So just you know, nothing else, no custom logic somewhere, no custom CSS. These are templates. And we will choose first, and you know, sidebar layout, like one of these. Create our forms on the right side, and we will get a nice looking application. Okay, so uh, that's it for now, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. In the next one, we will take it to the next level by creating an application dashboard. So thank you for joining me, and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.